Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So my name is Jess and if you haven't subscribed yet, I discuss about Shopify dropshipping, side hustles, entrepreneurship, and sometimes about personal finance. So today's video, I will be revealing my first ever Shopify dropshipping store, kung ano yung product, exact product ko, and kung how much yung naging sales ko in my first month. So if you have seen my first ever video here on YouTube, I discussed that I opened a store last 2019, but actually I have discovered Shopify way back in 2016. And at that time, wala pa masyadong YouTube videos, wala pa masyadong mentors. So it was really about testing the products, a lot of guest work to be honest. And at that time, I was really scared to spend money on Facebook ads or Instagram ads. And so I will teach you guys on how I was able to make sales even without the Facebook ads and Instagram ads. Just a disclaimer though that I'm not saying that it's gonna work right now because 2016 and 2020, and dami nang nagbago, and dami nang change na nangyari sa Shopify. Uh, so what I did before, I'm not saying that it would work for you guys, especially now that it's very competitive. There are a lot of advertisers online. But, you know, it, just to give you an idea that even if you don't advertise it through Facebook or through Instagram or through influencers, you could still have a chance to have a sale. And so before we go to the product itself, I would just like to give you guys a background story on why I started dropshipping. For those who are asking, ano ba yung mga tips na pwede kong ibigay sa inyo? And I always say that you have to understand your why. Um, so when I started my dropshipping store, I used to have my 9-to-5 job. Actually, it, was a it wasn't a 9-to-5. It was a 9-to-7 job. And from where I live and going to the office, it would take me 3 hours commute. So 1 hour and a half going to the office and then another 1 hour and a half going back to my house. Just for transparency, my salary at the time wasn't big. Um, to be honest, it was less than 30,000 pesos. And so I knew I wanted to make more money and to be able to have money left, you know, for savings, for investments, and for things that I like, which is to travel. And I knew I needed to do something outside of my full-time job. The reason why I'm I am explaining this is because if you are following um, American YouTubers who discuss about dropshipping, um, other foreigners who discuss about dropshipping, you might be seeing that they have their own Lamborghinis, they have their own Ferraris and all those sports cars and probably even mansions. They also have their designer things like Yeezys, Louis Vuitton, and Balenciaga, and tama na yun, baka pronunciation. But you know, you get it. Those all those fancy schmancy things. So I would just like to clear out that for me I wasn't able to get those things. I wouldn't even you know try to flex anything because I don't own a Lamborghini, I don't have a Ferrari, I don't even drive. To be honest, I'm a grab lang ako. So you know, I dropshipping didn't do that for me. My Dropshipping didn't miraculously like you know change my life 180 degrees, but it did provide me with a lot of things. There were a lot of opportunities that came my way. I was able to invest my money. I was able to buy a pre-selling condo. I was able to buy an insurance. I was able to travel abroad, and most importantly, I was able to quit my full-time job. So just a disclaimer because I know that we are a growing community. I couldn't believe it. Um, this morning, we are almost at 600 subscribers. So I appreciate each and every one of you who have subscribed. And I can't believe that there's almost 600 people who are interested to know what I have to say and what I want to share with you guys. So thank you so much for subscribing. For those who are commenting, those people who are leaving me messages, DMing me, thank you so much, guys. And I hope I re would really provide value to each and every one of you. Thank you. Now we go to my first ever dropshipping store. Like with every beginner dropshipper, I was trying to find a trending product. 
So you'd be actually surprised on what product I have for my first top driven store. You wouldn't have guessed it, I swear. <laughs> It's a mermaid blanket. <laughs> OG logo coming through. Okay, so this was my first sale ever. It was the best feeling in the world. You guys can actually try to negotiate or haggle the price of the item. So in here, it's $24 and I was able to bring it down to $21 each piece. I would also like to share with you guys, when I started with my Shopify store way back in 2016, I really didn't have any money. Like at the time, I don't have a credit card yet, so I just borrowed my mom's credit card. So don't pay din sa mga taong maliit lang talaga yung budget. You guys can do a lot of things. You don't have to buy a domain. To be honest, I know someone who's making 100,000 pesos uh, in sales each month. So and she doesn't have a domain so a trick that you can do is to have a bit.ly link and post that in your instagram's uh instagram bio or facebook bio and drive your traffic to that bit.ly link okay so here's a low budget trick that i did before so within your niche find pages users it could be theme pages or people that are interested in mermaids and then you have to engage with them. You could like their posts, comment on their posts. So what you guys can do is to team up with theme pages. So what are theme pages? Basically, these are pages that only showcases one kind of content. So for example, for this one, it's the mermaid house. So they just feature mermaids on their page. So you can reach out to them and see if they would want to work with you. So believe it or not, some theme pages don't even require payment, but most of them do. So after okay. two years, someone really else revealed their product like and said how much they made. <laughs> well, Melvin, you've turned me into a $4 million mermaid. This is the product that made you $4 million? Exactly. Wow. I'm going to try to give it a little slap. Slap! So I'm... Okay, so finally, moment of truth. This is the final sales that I got in my first month of job shipping. The total is $234.93. I hope that this video inspired you guys to really just bet on yourselves. You never know what will happen. Okay, so sorry my camera died on me, but I just want to tell you guys that you would really have to test it out because for me, for, and for a lot of people, that seemed like a ridiculous product at first. But imagine someone else making $4 million with that product. So that's 200 million pesos. Imagine, guys, that's 200 million pesos. And I think that's something that we have to learn from. We cannot underestimate the product. 
Okay, so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of video, please comment down below that you like the memes and you know the editing in this video because I really put up a lot of effort <laughs> in this one. So I hope you guys give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you, have, if you haven't yet, and turn on the notification bell for more dropshipping tips next time and also business tips side hustles and about personal finance i'll see you guys next time wishing you all success and enjoy the rest of your day and please please remember to always trust the process bye guys